Hi and welcome to another Type with me. In today's video I want to talk about reflect metadata in TypeScript. Last week we discussed reflections in TypeScript and now I want to go further into it. Right. So reflect metadata is extra information about the actual data. For example an array has a length. The length is extra information and is metadata. Also the types within an array can be extra information and also is metadata, right? So let's see this in action with some examples. So if I look into this function, func info, we get here a function as an argument and that function has a name and it also has a length, right? So here we have function add accepts so many arguments. So we have defined two sample functions, uh, an add and a say my name, and then we have here some extra info that we will print out, right? So here we have add info function add accepts two arguments, and then say my name info function say my name accepts one argument. So again, this is something that you can use, but it apparently will not be used a lot, right? It's better to use another kind of uh, thing there, and I will go right into it right away. Another thing that's very important to know is that we have object dot um, get own property descriptors, right? And the get own property descriptors are describing it gets the own property descriptor of the specified object An own property descriptor is one that is defined directly on the object and is not inherent from the object's prototype so that's again something that describes the property right what it is what the metadata is that needs to be used within that property right but let's go over and see what the reflect metadata can do to give us more power and more control over this process, right? So metadata proposal for ECMAScript. It's still a proposal and here you find some kind of uh, methods that you could use to go into uh, metadata, right? So um, it's, it's, it's great, you have also a shim for it, but again, if you use TypeScript, you will see that we can use it there as well. So first of all, you need to install reflect metadata. So we're going to do that. And then of course, we can just do npm run dev to execute tsc, right? And then we have our index.js uh, file. I'm going to do node dot, and then I can have a check of a function and that function is reflect.define metadata. Then I'm going to define my target. And now we're going to add extra info on uh, the target, right? We're gonna say that it has a version one and it has info props one on the target. And we're gonna say that um, the name is of type string, right? So let's check this out. First of all, I want to check the target. So I'm going to do npm run dev. And then I'm going to do node dot. And of course, I need to save it first. <laughs> My fault. So again, run dev. And then I'm going to do node dot. And then you see here that target is Yoris. Uh, name Yoris, middle name Honoré. And now we can extract extra info on the target, right? So if I save this one. And then we run it. Then we can get the metadata info um, and info is this one right so we should have props one and of course we have props one 
The same thing can be done with um, the version. So now we know that the uh, target has uh, metadata of version and that's version one, right? So again, you see here that the object still remains name Yuri's middle name Honore, but we just added an extra layer, an extra metadata layer on top of it. And we say that that target or that, that object has uh, a version one tag on it, right? And the same can be done with the last one, right? Where we have target name is. And then we can uh, execute this one, right? And then we get that it's a string, right? Name is of type string. So that's great. Another thing that I want to show you is when the metadata is not there, what it's uh, doing, right? If you say target uh, bogus, for example, and I'm going to put here something like bogus because bogus is just bogus, right? Um, and then we're going to execute this one. I'm going to check it. Then we get an undefined, which is also easy in JavaScript or TypeScript to check if it's undefined, right? Some small extra things that I want to tell you is, for example, console.log. I want to have all the, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to execute results and you will get all the metadata that's on that target, right? Or on that object. And here we get that we have version and info. So you see here name is and then the type, you don't see it right here in this array. So that's also something that you need to take into account, but that's just because we are just saying that uh, the target name is of type string, right? What we now can do is, for example, do reflect dot delete meta. And then we say that we want to delete version, for example. And we want to do that on targets. And if we now do the same and execute just the array of all the metadata keys, then we should only get, all right, that's correct, info, right? And here we go, we have info, this is awesome, right? I really like it. It's an extra layer that you can lay, uh, put on top of your target, on top of your object, on top of your structure. Uh, and then and, and you can very easily work with that, right? So these things are also uh, putting things on the prototype chain, right? So that's the reason why we also have get meta, get own metadata, right? So you need to be aware of it that get own metadata really puts things on the target and get metadata puts it on the prototype chain. And that's a little bit of a, of a click that you need to make to really um, dive into it and uh, start using it because otherwise you are surprised that, oh, but I put it on that object. Well, no, you put it on the prototype chain and so other objects can have that as well. Uh, if you really want to have it slowly on that target object, you need to do something like reflect.get own metadata, right? So this was it for this week, right? <laughs> I discussed how to put an extra layer on top of your uh, of your objects, and I discussed what uh, 
metadata and own metadata is and how you could use it, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope you can do something with it. Uh, I hope it makes some kind of sense why you are or some people are doing this, right? And see you next time. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel if you didn't do that already or give this a thumbs up. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye.